This is James Helder for the Cast and Helder Show. I'm in Liverpool today at Derry's Academy. With me, I've got Jazza Dickens. How are you doing, Jazz? Hi, Jay. How are you, mate? How's things? Everything all right? Brilliant. Going great. Good, good. You take on Josh Well for the British title with the Echo Arena this Friday. How has your camp been for this fight? Perfect, Jay. Um, it's been the best one so far for me and definitely the most enjoyable one. So I'm, I'm happy in camp and look forward to getting in there. I mean, you've been in this situation before. You fought Kid Galahad for the British title. Come on. Just just missing out to Kid Galahad that night. How confident are you that you can beat Josh Well? Definitely. Um, if the, fight the, way, the way the fight went last time, I know it won't go like that because the camp hasn't been like that. I've had a proper camp and I've had... Every, everything's gone perfect. I can't, can't complain. I've had a brilliant camp, so I'm looking forward to getting in there and showing my, my skills on Friday night. Since that defeat, how much emphasis have you and your team put on the nutrition side of things and just away from the boxing? Um, a lot more. I never lifted the weight, really. Before that, before the last time I fought for the British title, I've been doing my standing conditioning for the last year and a half. Um, my diet's been spot on, so everything's been perfect. So, yeah, I'm a different fighter. I'm not the same fighter as I was then. What do you think Josh Well brings to this fight? What what makes Josh Well dangerous, in your opinion? Um, I'm not looking too much into that. I'm looking at what makes me dangerous, and I know, and I'll be for a good game plan. And I'm looking forward to the night. Really, I'm looking forward to it. Like a, not bear with a sore head, I'm happy bear with a sore head, you know what I mean? I can't wait. Talking to all the other boxers on the card, this is probably the fight that, other than the main event, that interests them the most, with the most interest. <coughs> Excuse me. How do you deal with that pressure? I didn't know that, to be honest, Jay. I didn't know that. I've just been in camp and doing what I'm doing. I don't look at the internet, I don't watch any videos of him. I just concentrate on what I've got to concentrate on, and that's not the internet, and that's not um, the media. That's just me doing what I've got to do. I asked this to another fighter in your gym. You seem to have quite a close-knit community. How much do you credit Paul and Mick with your success so far? Um, it's not my success, it's our success. That's how I see it. me, Paul and Mick, and Neil as well. Um, when we go to the gym, it is like a, a small family. I don't, don't look at the internet, I don't like that. We have, our, we have our time in the gym. I go, I stay home with family, with family, I go out. I see the lads in the gym, I come back home with family. I don't see many people. Um, I've got a small circle around me, personally, so... Um, it's a it's a nice place to be and it, there's no distractions in our gym either. Paul and Mick wouldn't let that happen. So Carl Frampton in action last weekend. Um, what did you make of his performance against Avalos? I watched the undercard and when, when the fight came on, obviously I didn't want to watch it, so it turned it off and then I could hear the neighbours watching it through the wall and they're all shouting at the telly and I'm thinking, oh, well, at least you're off, I can't get away from this. I don't like watching other fighters, so um, I didn't see it, but apparently he was good. Good on him. All right, well, listen, we're looking forward to an action-packed card this Friday. Um, really looking forward to seeing you in action again. Thank you for talking to the Cassius and Elder Show. Thank you very much, Yeah, Thank you.